so for today's video we are going to make some uh, DIY pom-pom bookmarks and some earrings so let's get started so for making the pom-poms first all you need is some yarn and as you can see I clearly did not have enough red yarn so yeah then you'll be needing some thread uh, a fork a pair of scissors and now uh, let's get started so taking your fork uh, insert your chosen yarn through the third prong or the middle prong so that you have better grip when you're looping it around the fork and just loop it as many times as you want remember the more you loop the more uh, fluffier or more full your pom pom is going to be so after you're done just cut it off and just push the thread out a little bit and then cut a small piece of white thread around 5 inches uh, just insert the thread to uh, through the middle of the fork and just uh, tie a double knot make sure that the knot is secure and pull out your yarn and it should look something like this it'll look like a flower so yeah maybe i'll give like yeah here's a close-up of this how it should be looking now take your pair of scissors and start uh, cutting off the edges to release the pom-poms just go over and this is how it should look now this is the best part all you have to do is just trim off the excess so that you can get more of a circular pom-pom look so just keep trimming and trust me guys this part was really therapeutic i just loved trimming off the edges and there you go you have your pom-pom now i'm going to show you guys how to make a multicolor pom-pom so all you need is some assorted yarn a fork a pair of scissors and some thread now this thread i actually ended up not using it because i'll just tell you guys why so here i've just chosen four colors and again i'm doing the same thing i'm inserting my first color through the middle of the fork and just going all around with it and then i'm going ahead with my second color followed by yellow and the red so just loop it around now this pom pom is going to be slightly bigger than the previous one just because it um, because I'll be using a lot of thread push out the yarn uh, just a little bit so that you have a little bit of a fork area exposed so that you can insert the thread or yarn now i de uh, decided to use a piece of yarn to tie it together rather than a thread uh, just because the thread was too thin and too fragile for such a thick piece of yarn so here i'm just taking a blue yarn around like five inches long and just making a double knot to secure it together and i'm just going to pull it out then again i'm going to cut off the edges to release the pom-pom like shape and then after that all you need to do is just trim it out so that you can get your desired pom-pom shape now pom-poms generally have like a slight circularish shape so i'm just trimming it to get that effect to get like a nice circular multicolor pom-pom and i just think that this multicolor pom-pom pom-pom sorry it looks super cute and it's just so adorable and i just really love how random the colors have been spread out across the pom-pom so yeah this is how your finished look is going to be and there you go now let's move ahead and make our assorted pom-pom bookmark so all you need for this is the assorted pom-pom uh, some yarn a book and some fabric glue so now i've taken three colors here um, for making the bookmark and i've taken white yellow and blue thread now i'm just applying some fabric glue 
on one side of the thread and I'm just going to glue the thread to the pom pom you can just glue it to any side because you know it's a circular pom pom so it doesn't really matter so now just set it aside for like two three hours to uh, let it dry now after it has dried I'm just going to start braiding now you guys can do any braid I'm just doing a very regular braid over here nothing too complicated but you can definitely uh, go for a fish braid or you can definitely braid with more threads so instead of three you can add six or nine and just braid I guess the more complicated the braid will be the more prettier the bookmark will be and after you're done braiding just tie a knot at the end and just trim off any unevenness so yeah I'm almost done braiding and I'm just going to tie a knot at the end and voila there you have it you have your own a little cute bookmark and I just think it looks so damn colorful and just so super cute and it just totally brightens up any notebook it's just really cute I really like this DIY yeah. so there you go you have your DIY pom pom a bookmark and it just goes so well with this notebook I feel it's just so colorful So moving on to our last and final DIY which is a pair of pom-pom hoop earrings. For this you need two similar pom-poms. So here I've made two red pom-poms. Then you'll need some fabric glue, a pair of scissors, then a pair of hoop earrings. I have uh, here two gold hoop earrings and then two eye pins again I have two gold eye pins now I'm going to insert the eye pin through the hoop earring and then I'm just going to insert my pom-pom through the eye pin and just push it till the very end then I'm just going to dab uh, some fabric glue on the edge and then I'm just going to pull my pom pom to the end or till the desired length I want and I'm just going to blend the fabric glue to the pom pom and that's it it's pretty simple and it looks super cute so I'm just going to put it at the end and I'm just going to set it aside to dry for say two three hours and I'm going to repeat the same process on the other earring and just you know just insert it through the eye pin add some fabric glue push it and just dab the fabric glue in and just let it sit for two three hours the fabric glue will completely dry clear you can also use hot glue but i have fabric glue so i just went ahead and used that and just let it dry for two three hours and you'll have a brand new pair of colorful pom-pom hoop earrings and i just think these look so cute i'm definitely going to wear these a lot during the summer so yeah that's it for the diy guys i really hope you guys enjoyed and let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are going to try these you can definitely tag me on your instagram i would love to see your creations and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!